Hey everybody, Pete Meyer with Motor Rage Magazine here with yet another edition of In the Workshop. And today's uh, very special guest, uh, Eric Peterson. He is the Ford F-150 marketing manager. Got that right? That is correct. That's correct, okay. And uh, he's with us uh, to talk a little bit about the Ford Atlas concept. Eric, thank thanks so much for uh, being with me this morning. Oh, thanks for having me. Great to talk with you. You know, the, the Ford Atlas concept, of course, like many other vehicles in the past, um, is the platform, I guess, the birthplace of ideas that you use to you know, bring things to market. I mean, we've seen a lot of new innovations, uh, not only from Ford, but across the board, and things like uh, you know, uh, uh, lane departure warning and collision alerts and, mm -hmm. and other things that make the vehicle safer and uh, more convenient to use and just overall improvements on the platform. Tell me a little bit about first about, uh, about the history of the Ford F series. Well, I mean, the history is, I mean, 65 years of, uh, of building trucks and knowing what customers want and what they expect out of pickup trucks. So it's, um, it's really an honor to be, for me to be working on such a great brand like that. And it's um, because of that heritage, we've really you know, got a, a team that really knows and has a long history of what customers expect and need out of a pickup truck. Because the unique thing about a pickup truck is you, you pick it because you need to do some type of work, whether it's um, towing your boat back and forth to the lake or you know, you're a landscaping company or you're doing construction, you're, you're deciding to get a pickup truck because you need that truck in some way, shape, or form. Sure. And so really what we've done over time, that's really what Built for Tough is all about, is not just the length of time, but it's you know doing that plus having you know, more trucks on the road with over 250,000 miles than anybody else and really leveraging that. And that's how you get into sales leadership of 36 years of sales leadership. So it's a continual um, process or continual evolution of, of listening to the customer and finding out what they need and what they want and then you know being in a position to deliver that with class leading product and that's what's what's been great about working on, on this brand for for as long as I have and um, um, also what's great about being part of such a great product and um, something that's been able to stay in front but through product innovation. Yeah and I think that's like some very interesting figures that uh, some of your staff sent me earlier that I want to just kind of point out yeah. here. It says here that uh, Ford F series trucks uh, over the year 2013, they were selling one on average every 45 seconds. <laughs> wow, I mean that's a lot of trucks. And then, and then the other figure that really caught my eye was, uh, since 1948, you guys have sold 32.8 million yeah. of the F Series trucks. And, and of course, as you commented, people buy pickup trucks because they have a job to do. Yeah. And Ford is a leader in uh, supplying vehicles to the men who. Need them for work, and the women too. Of course, that's can't leave the ladies out. You know, they, well, they, that, that, they that's exactly too. right. It's not. It's not gender specific. You pick a truck. You design a truck because you need it. And yeah, those those statistics are certainly you know kind of a bit jaw dropping when you think about how often pickup trucks are sold. And that's you know one of the things that that we work on all the time is how do we keep ourselves in that leadership position. You know, another way to look at it, you know, talk about the you know how frequently a truck is sold. Uh, you can also stack all the F-Series trucks that we've sold back to back, and if you did it through where we were from August, to, from the beginning of the year to August, you'd be able to stretch all those trucks end to end from Los Angeles to uh, to Graceland. You'd be in Memphis. Wow. Wow. Well, it's a it's a good stretch, and it's it's a lot of trucks, and it's it's both F-Series, and then the other thing is that the segment as a whole is is really rebounding quite nicely, um, tied almost directly to housing starts. So it's an interesting thing to watch. We're seeing kind of like the the uptick and not just F-Series as the leader, but also the full-size pickup truck uh, segment in general. So it's really, you know, we're optimistic about, you know, the future of, of trucks and that's you kind know, of what makes Atlas <laughs> such a cool thing to talk about is, um, you know, we have a great truck today, but we don't, we don't stop with where we're at today. You know, the engineers that we have are constantly thinking about what could we do next and they're able to sure. put it into concept trucks and ideas like Atlas that, that really showcase what pickup trucks you know, could be and some of the innovation allows us to get feedback, allows us to, you know, test out design ideas, etc. It's really, a, it's a great way to, to keep our side pressing forward on product, but also put it in front of customers to see how they react and what they like and, um, and then we, you know, take that back and see what we can do with it. Sure, and, and I guess where I want to start with the concept of concepts yeah. um, is the improvements, as you pointed out, this is where you get to try out the new ideas and see how they float and what people mm -hmm. think of them and how they work in the real world. Right. Right. And uh, I guess what I really want to start with, the, the EcoBoost engine packages that Ford introduced were already 
I mean, receive rave reviews mm -hmm. for uh, what they were capable of doing. Uh, and I noticed here that now we're touting the next generation. So let's start with that. Since I'm a tech, well, <laughs> I want to know about under the hood. So let's well, start with the next generation of EcoBoost. You bet. Well, the thing with EcoBoost, and to a certain extent, it is next generation in and of itself. Uh, when we brought the EcoBoost into the lineup for the 2011 model year, there were a lot. There's a little bit of hand wringing in the industry, and you know we were very confident with what we were doing, but. For a long time, there'd been this, and we were we were ones that that, that kind of helped facilitate that. That there was no re replacement for displacement. That you had to have a big block V8 in your truck to get the right capability. And again, through <coughs> looking at things differently and leveraging diesel technology, basically some of the turbocharging, we're able to bring basically class leading torque, class leading towing for an engine that still was a V6 that got you 22 miles per gallon on the highway. So it was this combination of you know, 424 pounds of torque meets 22 MPGs, and, and people hadn't really seen it that something like that before. And, you know, the question would be, does it stand up? Does it work? And we, we really tried to prove that out before we launched it, and customers were confident in it. And that's why we sold over 360,000 EcoBoost engine and F-Series to date. And so the thinking with the concept is, well, we, you can't really open the hood to take on, take a look underneath it. Even if we had it live and in person here, um, we're going to continue to evolve EcoBoost and take what we have today. And you know, the thinking is that we could, in a future truck, make it smarter, make it tougher, make it more durable. So we'll have to see what those things could be. But that's the idea behind the concept: is that you'd have the next generation of EcoBoost. That you know, we're committed to that in, in trucks. It's been a Tremendous success today, but we haven't stopped there, and so we'll keep pressing forward with EcoBoost. Yeah, and then, and that's not the only challenge, of course, facing the manufacturers, including Ford. I mean, the CAFE standards that you guys yeah. are, are working at to achieve involves not only changes in engine transmission technology, but other uh, concepts that have to be mm -hmm. created to help improve overall you know fuel consumption. They see yeah. there's quite a few of those on the Atlas. Can you give us an overview of some of those, like, like the sure. active grill shutters? I mean, and that's just technology that's that we've got in market today. So there's a lot of that technology that's already in place. And so the thinking is, if you're designing a next generation truck, you should really try and leverage that technology wherever you can. So active grill shutters make a ton of sense when you're at highway speeds and they close up and to, to reduce the drag. And, and one of the, the biggest negative factors on fuel economy is you're in your audience are, I'm sure, very aware is is drag, is, is poor aerodynamics. And so, you know, active grill shutters in the front behind the grill make a ton of sense. But some other things as well make a lot of sense, like a like a like a dam that air dam that lowers at highway speed. So at when you're going slow or you're potentially off road or you're in the city, it's it's up, it's raised. You need the ground clearance, etc. But when you're at here on highway speed, you create that extra buffer, so to speak, that creates less drag underneath the underneath the underneath the truck. And that's you know those are some of the things that you would do up front, but you would you would simplify your mirrors, and that's one of the things you've done is made more aerodynamic mirrors on this concept, given some of the things that we're thinking about. And again, it's a it's a it's a nod to the direction that every bit of the truck is important to uh, to fuel economy. Every bit is important to styling, so you have to make it work in harmony. And that's what the Atlas does; is it kind of brings it all together. A smart technology um, meets great design. And then one other thing relative to aerodynamics, which is I should say one, and we'll, we'll get two others. The first is um, simple, but you know, um, uh, deployable running boards, power running boards are are something that are you know on on high end trucks today. We've got them unlimited. We've got them in our trucks today. But bringing those, just making sure that it's part of your package, say on this Atlas truck, not only deliver a sense of style and a sense of high end, but are also smart because if those those um, running boards aren't hanging out when you're driving. And that makes you more fuel efficient. So those, that's the type of thinking. But I think one of the more interesting things on the truck relative to aerodynamics and better fuel economy is the active wheel shutters. So you've seen active grill shutters, or we've talked about those on other products. But the active wheel shutters are a pretty a pretty cool idea, where you kind of use that battery charging. The concept would be use the same type of charging that you would for a hybrid system, where you can kind of store the the power from the brakes when it's braking, and then use that to charge a battery that can close your wheel shutters at highway, or close the wheel openings at, at, um, at highway speeds as well. So it creates a very flat wheel instead of losing that drag inside the wheel. So that's the, that's the type of thinking, that's the type of idea that's in this truck, which I think is pretty cool because it still has your, still open for cooling, still open for design and style, but then when you're moving at highway speeds, it's closed up and, you know, no one, no one, no one knows. It's just smart technology meets better aerodynamics and just shows that also, 
It doesn't all have to be in the powertrain. It doesn't all have to be in the transmission. It can be on the just the simple things like aerodynamics as well. Absolutely. And other things, convenience factors. I'm looking here at, at some several innovations. Yeah. Um, but let's talk about first, let's talk about the 360-degree point of view camera. That's that's really kind of cool. Yeah, and you're seeing some of that type of thing in luxury vehicles and the like, and it's it's a it, it's a great idea because you know a pickup truck it may be one of the more logical places for it. It may feel like it should be a luxury feature, but if you want to get a bird's eye view of what you're doing, parking in a tight spot, to me there's no better thing to do it than than a pickup truck. Um, I mean, most truck drivers are comfortable with the size of the vehicle. They know what they've got, and it's not you know they would say it's not an issue, but it's still a big vehicle. It's as big a vehicle as there is out there, so. Putting smart technology like that allows you to be more confident in how you're maneuvering the vehicle in tight spots or parking it, uh, maybe in a you know, parallel parking type of situation. So that, that's the type of thing. A lot of what we do is about capability and durability, but it's also confidence. Towing confidence is something we spend a lot of time on. It's not just how much can you tow, it's how confidently can you do with the structural integrity of the vehicle, sure. things like trailer sway control. You know, And so even you know, a 360 camera that you bring into the picture is also a very positive thing in terms of confidence. And that, and that confidence even goes into, uh, you know, trailer trailer backup assist in, in the Atlas concept. So it's something that allows you to, to basically leverage the same type of technology that would be in active park assist. For those, since you're, you're technical audience, you would know about that. And basically lets you steer the trailer instead of steering the truck. Now, most truckers know that, you know, can obviously, you know, they're comfortable, that they're done it, they're pros. But still, one of the more daunting tasks when it comes to a uh, to truck, and so um, you know, trailer backup assist will actually you know uh, allow you to leverage the technology in the vehicle through a control in, inside the truck to uh, to park that trailer or back, back up that trailer instead of having to do all the reverse engineering in your mind to do the truck to do the trailer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's a type of advanced technology. Uh, that we think you could bring into a pickup truck down the line, and something like Atlas has it, um, has it, you know, shows what it what it could be, and, and the type of thinking that we that we've got. Yeah, the interesting thing too to note here is that there are a lot of the technologies there. Yeah. You know, it's not like this has got to be created. The sure. advances over the past few years in camera and radar and the electronics and processing speed mm -hmm. makes so many things open to the engineers. Mm -hmm. You know, these are just some great examples, fellas. Of how Ford has taken them to to cover the board. I mean, they're they're working on producing a more efficient vehicle, a friendlier vehicle, addressing the needs that, that you know their customers are you know want in their work truck. Uh, Eric, it's just been a really great time spending with you this morning. Thanks so much. You bet. And, uh, Thank thanks you. for sharing uh, the Ford Atlas. Hey, anytime I get a chance to talk about today's pickup trucks or you know what what to, what pickup trucks could look like tomorrow, like the future of trucks like Atlas, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. So I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me as well.